New York City, home to museums, theater, and the world-famous Times Square, is also home to another venue, the Comedy Club. But what's life really like for a stand-up comedian? And what if that comedian is a woman? My dad would come from work wearing white lab coats with blood on them. He was a butcher. <laughs> but as a little girl, I just thought he was a really bad doctor. <laughs> Meet Stacy Pressman. Stacy is one of a handful of female comics currently on the circuit. I don't know so much the sexism because that's you know that could be a little bit of it, or um, it's 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 I guess it is in certain ways a male-oriented profession. But funny is funny, so yeah, there there is definitely an imbalance of men and women. As a male comic, uh, working with females is they're still grouped as a minority. People are judging women more on their talent rather than their genetic makeup. So uh, thankfully you know, it's, it's getting better. Tim Humayun is also a stand-up comedian and he happens to be Stacy's boyfriend. He says women like Stacy bring their own unique voice to the stage and deserve to be heard. She grew up as an only child, grew up in a, in a relatively tough area in Brooklyn. Her stage voice, so to say, is is so unique that no one can steal it. We don't like when guys hold the door open for us and let us walk by. If you're 20, you're like, oh my god, he's so nice, I'm going to marry him, I'm going to introduce him to my mother. He held the door open. Your 30s, you're like, he's just looking at my ass. Your 40s, you're like, I hope he's looking at my ass. <laughs> Your 80s, you're like, please hold my ass up, please. <laughs> Besides stand up, Stacy is developing her own show, which can be seen on her website. She also travels, giving college lectures about her experience with an eating disorder. I was always on a diet, I was always taking pills, I took laxatives. Um, I wouldn't eat for a couple of days here and there, and then I would eat, and then overeat, and it was a whole, it was a whole pattern, but it wasn't noticeable. Um, most people didn't notice, you know, unless they they really watched me. I mean, I was really good at hiding it. I was really good at hiding it. Comedy helps her overcome her issues. It gives me a voice. I think it's given me my own voice. And it's the first time I really ever wrote and, and spoke, like really spoke about stuff. Either it just be silly stuff or serious stuff. And, I'm, and as I mature as a comedian, I'm writing more and more about things that are more important to me. Important and optimistic. Nowadays, Stacy has a lot to sing about.